Hey y'all, Irix guy here back again with another field test. And as always, before I fly, I check the wind speed and uh, let me power on my device here. Wind's coming in this direction. We're looking at about just about 1.2 to 1.5 knots, so very, uh, very mild amount of wind using my iPod Touch. Check the link within this video's description. You can find the version that I'm using. What I'm going to demonstrate within this video, it's part of the new uh, features that were rolled out to the Phantom 3 on the 7th of September 2015. And that's actually when I'm filming this, the 7th of September 2015. So we're going to see what this does. I've got this tree right here that we're going to attempt to uh, use as a point of interest. We're gonna try to orbit it. Uh, let's get everything parted up here. So if that recording thing works, we ought to have a really good perspective here. Yeah, you can't see where I'm taking off from over there. Um, guess I could turn the camera that way, but we'll just take it off and bring it over this way. Um, so I'm gonna use the, uh, obviously I've got the latest firmware, uh, the latest app version as of, as of September 7th. If you have a previous version, it's not going to uh, it's not going to work. Oh, there we go. Forgot to put my little thing down. Okay, so aircraft is warming up. Okay, we got uh, we got safe to fly GPS. Again, I'm going to be demonstrating the point of interest new feature within this video. Um, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take off in P mode. P is in Paul. But then to actually access the feature, you'll see that I'll toggle over once I'm airborne. Let's get airborne. There may be a minimum height, minimal height uh, that you got to have to uh, to use the point of interest. So I'm taking it right now to taking it up to 16 meters. Now I'm going to switch over to F, is in Frank, on the top right here, and it's going to present me with this menu. And this menu will allow me to select a variety of options, which we're gonna do point of interest within this video. I'm gonna select point of interest. It says fly the aircraft to above a subject or point of interest 
So I'm going to put it over this tree. That's the point of interest we want. I'm going to take it directly over the tree. I'm going to go ahead and take it up just a little bit higher. Obviously a safe and responsible altitude. And now what I can do, it says fly it above, okay, so I'm above the tree. We're going to do record the POI, the point of interest. Now it says aircraft will circle the point of interest at a slow speed. You can adjust the circling radius, altitude, and speed by moving the control sticks. So I want to get the radius. Okay, that's altitude. Okay, here we go. Radius, three meters, four meters. We're going to do a radius. And by the way, to do that, I push the right stick over. Now your control mode may, may be different. So, you know, it depends on, mine's just the default controller settings. If you have any questions about that, check 400 or below.com and I'm going to list the settings that I use there. So now I've got a radius of 14 meters, an altitude of 31 meters, and a speed of time for one lap is a minute and a half. That seems really slow. I'm going to speed it up to... Uh, so it's going to do one lap every 19 seconds. So let's try that first. Uh, I'm going to hit apply. This current altitude is 31 meters. The aircraft will return to the home point if low battery return home is triggered. Set a suitable return home altitude to safeguard your aircraft. I'm going to hit apply. Okay, and I'm watching it right now up in the sky doing its orbit. It's a point of interest, POI. I'm just going to let it go a few times here. And obviously you would be able to tweak your, uh, your camera position. I've got it pointed straight down, but I'm going to see if it'll let me control the camera while it's orbiting. And you know what's funny? It actually did. So now I've, I've moved the camera up a little bit using my gimbal wheel. I'm going to do it a little bit more here. Now I'm going to let it just sit in orbit. But I'm going to point the camera towards the sky so you can see what it's doing. I hope I find the phantom here. Let's see. And it's just going to orbit. I apologize if I'm losing it in the camera because it's it's uh, I'm gonna switch to my viewfinder here and see. Oh, there we go. So you can see it now. And it's doing that on its own. That's a circular pattern that it's performing on its own as part of this new feature set. So it'll do that until I hit pause or whatever. So let's put our uh, put our camera back on the tripod here. And I'm going to do a few uh, few things here. So I can let's see, I can uh, I could pause it. So let's hit pause. It did exactly what I wanted it to do, and that's staying stationary, not moving anywhere. It's just it's just hovering by its, you know, in its little place. So if I hit resume, it should continue the orbit, the point of interest, or whatever you want to call it. You can also change from clockwise to counterclockwise if you choose to do so. So that's kind of neat. And again, you could change the speed. Just a really, really cool. I mean, this works. You know, what more could one want? So, uh, while I'm still airborne, I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
I'm going to pause the so I'm going to pause the orbit, the point of interest, and now I'm going to switch back to my P mode. P is in Paul. So now I can now I've got control of the craft again. Obviously, I had control of it when it was doing that. I could pause it or I could override manually if I needed to. Um, See, now I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try out a different feature. So that was... Uh, that was the point of interest. So if you don't know how to access it, check the link within this video's description. I've got everything listed there on 400 or below.com. And that's probably... That and the Follow Me are probably the two favorite features that that I'm most excited about with the new Phantom 3 firmware update. So that was POI, it works, it worked exceptionally well. And obviously I'm gonna get a lot better environments to, uh, to demonstrate it in. Uh, this was just a, uh, this is just a field test. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.